Hey you guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about citations. Uh, there are three recommended sources you can use to cite your uh, sources. One is Noodle Tools Express. You can just do a quick Google search. You do not have to sign in. Just use Noodle Tools Express. It says sign in over here, but you don't have to. The other one is Night Sight. And this one is particularly good because it has all kinds of multimedia that you can cite. Uh, I have used this one before. Uh, currently, I tend to rely on Noodle Tools a fair amount, but Night Sight is still recommended by many libraries. The other one is Columbia College that I found. This one uh, helps as well. They're really detailed, so if you want a little more specifics, then you can do that. They even have a practice template in MLA. So I just wanted to go over how you might want to use Noodle Tools. First click MLA, and then let's say we want to do a website. So we scroll to the source, uh, the type of source that we have. Uh, and then let's go to studiobonder.com and we'll just pretend that we need to cite this. So right away you take the URL and copy it and put in the URL box. Date of publication, sometimes that's indicated, sometimes that is not. Uh, the date of the article is December 12, 2020. It also has copyright date down here of 2021. So you may use 2021 is when I put it down because that's the date of most recent publication. Most recent um, date of access, let's put the date. And then if we go back over, it says contributors. One is author, editor, translator. We're going to go with author. And the author is A.J. Dietisch on December 12, 2020. So A.J. Dietisch. And the article title is this one. So let's copy and paste this into the article title box. Okay, um, and then website, name of this, name of the website is Studio Binder. You can find that right here, Studio Binder. Publisher of the site. Um, what I used was studiobinder.com is what I ended up using. didn't see any contributors like an editor or I didn't really see that so you don't have to put that information in unless you have that on your website. And then if you think you have as many boxes filled in as possible on your uh, screen then go ahead and click save at least on Noodle Tools and then out pops your works cited entry and you can just copy and paste this into your works cited page. You're going to have to end up, if you copy and paste it as plain text, then you're going to have to, it will fall in line with whatever format is already established in your paper. But if you click just paste, uh, it will format exactly the way it is here. Same font, same font style, same font uh, size. So it'll transfer exactly like it is now. So anyways, um, if you wanted further information about the in-text citation, this one is a really cool tool. You click that one, and then it will show you how to do the in-text citation. But I'm telling you what, this whole, they have a t whole uh, additional section where they have situations where they might be kind of unique in how to cite those situations in your paper. So that's extra resource right there. So anyways, that is an example of Noodle Tools. And then again, you can also use Night Sight and then again, Columbia College. And I hope this was helpful.